Samotechi is eyeing a gold medal. After securing a medal place, a minimum of bronze at least in box in the Olympic Games for Ghana, for the first time in 29 years, he is looking to go one better and go for the ultimate prize. Yes, I'm happy to hear him say this because the talks on the media are all about the fact that he has secured a medal place minimum of a bronze. We listen to what the young man has to say, his expectations for the final as Ghana prepare uh, to secure uh, their possibly first a gold one in the Olympic history. We're also going to hear from Thomas Te Party's coach Mikel Arteta. Yesterday in a friendly versus Chelsea, he sustained an injury and Arteta has given updates on that. As usual, subscribe if you have not, uh, click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates. So yesterday dawn, uh, the Guardian made history, securing a medal for Ghana in boxing uh, for the first time since 1992 in football, bronze, uh, Ghana got it. We are once again on course uh, to get the minimum of a bronze medal. He takes part in the semi-final uh, which will take place uh, later on tomorrow early tomorrow morning at 2 30 a.m gmt he'll be facing an american and he's hoping and he is optimistic confident that he will get the gold medal his eye is on the gold medal he is eyeing that one and not looking to settle for a bronze medal as talks are increasing about the fact that he has already done well in getting Ghana as far as securing the bronze medal at least he's saying here that he will bring home gold Ghana's first Olympic medalist in 30 years uh, Tachi assures and now the Ghanaian boxer Samotechi says he won't be content uh, with winning an anything other than a gold medal at the Olympic Games now Techi is already guaranteed a medal after his quarterfinal victory over Colombian David Avia Saber in the featherweight division in Tokyo with semi-finalist in boxing guaranteed at least a bronze medal uh, Techi has become the toast of the nation with many Ghanaians overjoyed with success however the boxer isn't satisfied with a bronze or silver medal even though it would be the country's first at the game since 1992 in Barcelona and the first individual medal since Prince Amate who won bronze in Munich in 1972. Techi says he wants to win the first ever gold medal at the Olympic Games. To do that, he will first need to beat American Duke Reagan in Tuesday's semi-final but the Ghanaian is in high spirits after his quarter-final win. Let's have a listen to what he said after the win in the quarter final and his promise of delivering a gold medal he is not content with the possible bronze but wants to go one step further and secure the gold for ghana let's have a listen to sam Techi. i'm happy but not too much happy because the competition have not ended and i've already told ganes i'm going to bring a good medal and god have let me enter into the medal zone so what i'll tell them is they should keep on praying for me and you know, uh, I'm, I'm in semi final now, so they should keep on praying for me. I'm going to make it there and go to the final and uh, we'll look what God will do. But they should keep on also supporting me, pray for me, and I'll bring the good in Ghana. Yeah, so you have to achieve that for yourself. I am happy, but not content with the bronze medal. I want to go all the way and secure gold for Ghana. And that is the kind of spirit we need right now. You cannot go into the semi-final with a defeatist sort of mentality. In thinking that you have done the uh, minimum best and you will be assured of a medal. So you will not push yourself. Uh, well, he is pushing himself. He has promised that, uh, that he will uh, go all the way, do his best and give us a gold medal, which will be the first ever in our history so it'll be great to see him go all the way and see how well he will do Ghana are on course and possibly can do it we hope he can do it if it doesn't happen well I'm optimistic that it will happen but then again anything can happen in life but if it doesn't happen he has already done amazingly well we have to be honest with ourselves we never thought it would be possible uh, in this Olympics considering how ill prepared we were most of the competitions and he has gone all the way to do that and that is the story of Samuel Techi and the story of how he got inspired 
by his coach is what i'm going to talk about on this coach Oforia asari's advice to techie when he was trailing in the scorecards after round one then i told him and i quote him techie if you win this fight your life is going to change forever let's have a listen to the coach of samuel techie on how he inspired the Ghanaian after his first round four performance in the olympic games match in the quarter final he says uh, 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 the guys strategy or maybe their their team strategy that they have to find a way of bullying uh, Teji in the ring so in the first round uh, it happened that he was confused and then i told him Teji, if you win this fight your life is going to change forever so let's go so he has a coach uh, someone Teji's coach on how he was able to motivate him and tell him that it was do or die in this one he was inspired by that talk by the boxing coach there and we're thankful to the coach for really pushing him and making him come back he fought back in the second and third round to get the judges on his side and edge it 3-2 in the final scorecards and get into the semi-final place he is telling us that he will get us a gold medal he's going all the way he's not settling for bronze we couldn't ask for much more than this one congratulations in advance to Samuel Etechi I'll be giving you updates on what happens in this fight my next story has to do with Ghanaian uh, Thomas Ate Pate Pate has suffered another injury unfortunate there yesterday Arsenal played a friendly game preseason game with Chelsea uh, they lost 2-1 uh, but Pate limped off injured and Arsenal coach Mikel Arteta has sought to explain what the issue is with Thomas Te Pate and now it looks like a big concern following Sunday's um, defeat to Chelsea I have now it feel that Thomas Te Pate was forced off he, he limped off in the first half at the Emirates Mikel Arteta was asked of the latest on the number five and this is what he had to say I just had a talk with a doctor he's going to have a scan tomorrow that's today and at the moment not looking good because he was in pain and he could not continue which for Thomas is pretty unusual asked about how he saw the performance versus Chelsea he says it was a great run out of performance considering that Chelsea are European <laughs> champions so that's it on the front there of Thomas the party scans will give us more news on what has happened to him and how long he would possibly be out another injury I was hoping this year he would get the full force of Thomas Party about another hopefully he comes back before the start of the season which is next weekend the 13th of August it kicks off Arsenal kick things off for us so that has been it for today Samuel Techi is assuring us that he'll go all the way for gold his coach on how he motivated him in that quarter final game and Thomas Te Party also has gone up injured in that friendly versus Chelsea scans will reveal what the damage is your thoughts in the comments box I'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day